very formidable, dangerous team in their first year, BYU, in the Big 12. Not often do you get Big 12 teams to come to Worthington Arena, but today we've got a good one for you as the Bobcats win the tip. And we'll start with the ball again in the whites. BYU in the black knocks it out of bounds. Stays with the Cats. See how quickly the Cats can get their inside game going. It's going to be the key to this one. Hall down low. There it is. Deaton off the glass too strong. Mara Dystra with the rebound. Her shot's no good, but she's fouled. Dystra's first one up and rattles in and out. No good. Got some more experience on the national stage. We'll get into that a little bit more later on. Second rolls in and out, no good as well. So tough shooting there for the Cats, come out with nothing. Dykstra normally a decent free throw shooter at over 80% as a steal by Picton, but can't get it to go. Press early here for the Bobcats. Wide open three from the side is good. Big shot by Davenport from the angle and it's 3-0 Cougars just like that so two good looks to Anna just couldn't get either one of them to fall Hall now down low to Lamardo at the free throw line now drives in left handed scoop shot will fall BYU quickly down the court Crowd goes nuts as a little running floater will fall and one. Meredith is first. It's well and a true freshman and picked in as well. Third attempt won't fall, but BYU gets the rebound. So another chance here. Make it a four-point play outside shot. Won't fall. Lamardo with the rebound. Stays five to two. She'll drive all the way down the lane. Nice pass into Deaton. It's blocked out of bounds. Lamardo drives in, kicks it to the corner to Picton. She'll launch a long three, in and out, no good. Rebounded by Dykstra. She goes up strong. Making him shoot from the perimeter. Blocked out of there by Jansen. Tipped around. Picton falls and finally gets over to Montana State. So another steal. See if the Bobcats can capitalize down low and... Marta's first one is up. And one stat the Bobcats have on the Cougars is that free throw line. It's a one point game and it's stolen away. Nice steal by Bunyan into the game for the first time. And here comes Dykstra. Drives inside, little flip truck goes. Drives inside, little floater won't fall. Dykstra with the rebound. Crashing the boards early as Bunyan. Drives the lane, little floaters, but nobody. But they seem like this group wants to run the floor a little more. And great defense again. Lynn first starting here at MSU. She said she's an attack-minded guard that is an outstanding playmaker and scorer. Defensively, she's a, a, di a disruptor. And she also said Bobcat fans are going to love her. Well, they're going to love Bunyan. Woolston. Over to Smiler, long three-pointer by Davenport's no good. Rebounded by the Cats. Bunyan as Binford urges her to push the pace. Deaton back in. Top of the key. Egan drives the lane, kicks it outside. Bunyan hit a three earlier. Now she'll drive the lane. Beautiful move. Up and off the ball. This year, completely different story. Much quicker movement as... The ball skies over the rim for Calvert, picked up by the Cats. Bunyan almost loses it on that. Underneath the basket, dribble. All down low, Dystra gets hammered. Yeah, she navigated that year-long process and survived two rounds of cuts to make that at the Women's America's Championship in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Dystra hits both free throws and it's a 10-point lead. Biggest of the night here for Montana State. Gustin. Thought about a three there for Bubakar. Now she goes inside. Are they going to call a block? They are. 
And one from Bubakar is no good. Rebounded by Lamar. Cats doing a really good job of driving and picking up those fouls as Dyster goes inside. A little turnaround from the free throw line. Rattles in and out. Bubakar up top. Now Smiler drives into the lane, kicks it out. Nice movement, Bubakar long three, no good. Rebounded by Deedon. 16% from the three-point line and 0 for 4 from the stripe. The foul's called down low. Deedon a 71% free throw shooter last year. As a junior, the senior puts in the first one. Cut to the lane, a little hip check. Hockey style by the Cougars. Hits them both, and it's a 10-point lead, 17-7, 22 seconds to go. The defense out top by Picton. And called for the reach in. I forgot about that. <laughs> I think they've already given away about eight of them with the free throw shooting from BYU. Second one's up and that one rattles in and out. Tracked down by Jansen, nine seconds to go. Eight, picked in, past half court, five, four, and we have a timeout, or no, we're gonna have a foul called. Picton's another one on the Bobcat team that is coming down from Canada. She's from Ontario, and last year she was a member of the 2022 Kia Nurse National EYBL team out of Hamilton. And she averaged about 15.3 points, five assists, and 2.8 steals for her three-time Ontario Basketball Association. Half-court shot no good at the buzzer. And going into the first break, after one quarter, Montana State with a 19 to find themselves up 11 to start the second quarter. Lamardo thinks about a three, and she's fouled by Whiting. Jansen. Into Picton, now back to Jansen. For the Cats. Smiler with it. It's almost knocked away. Picton almost gets the steal. Whiting now thinks about a long three. Now a cut down the lane. That's what BYU. They're going to get back into this down tw or down 12 here in the was, second quarter. That was the first time I've seen them go inside. Smiler over to Whiting. Davenport hit an early three and has been kind of quiet since then. She'll drive inside, throws it up, no good. But 17% free throw percentage from BYU this afternoon. Second one, good as well. Sets up the offense here for Montana State. Still a 10 point lead for the Bobcats. Lamardo inside draws contact. Lamardo's first is up and good. That's two for four from the three-point line as well. Both teams though struggling from the floor. Both of them under 40% so far in this first half. Gets them both to fall back up to the biggest lead at 12 for the Bobcats. As Bunyan with good defense. Two freshmen on the court. Picton against Whiting. Outside, long three. Gets it to go. Hit every part to Bunyan. Double team throws it up, no good. Good looking shot, doesn't fall. Quickly down is Davenport and BYU. Cut off by Hall. Whiting now drives the left lane. It's blocked out of bounds. Nice play by Blumfield. Straight up, good defense. Blumfield just a sophomore, no juniors on Montana State's roster as Davenport goes inside and she's fine. That's about to an eight, now seven point game as she hits. A little bit of a scoring drought for the Cats. About two minutes, 46 seconds since their last field goal. 
So we have three freshmen, one sophomore and a senior on the floor now for Montana State. See if they can create some offense and instead BYU creates a turnover. Whiting quickly down to Davenport, drives late, kicks it out. Long three by Wolfson. Worked through that with some of these younger players. Lindsey Hines still injured with that uh, ankle, nagging angle injury. Phillip out with an angle injury as well as Hall. Davenport. Whiting with the long three, no good. Rebounded by Brumfield. Again, a lot of younger players getting some action here in the second quarter. Picton over to Hall. Hall, the lone senior out there. She drives down the lane, off the glass, and good. Five straight points for Hall. Back up to a nine-point lead. Back to BYU. Bubakar. Down low, nice move by Smiler. Can't get it to go, and it's blocked out of there. And they're going to get Deaton with the reach in. This one up and two hand down. Misses them both at home against Weber State. So a little Big Sky action here for BYU. The next couple days as Lamardo goes inside. Oh, they're going to call it. You'd see Darian White and company drive inside, and Lamardo wait outside for the three this year. Way more active, way more going towards the basket. It's been good. First one up and rattles it home for the Cougars. Cats haven't scored in two. So a defense. MSU kind of closed that gap yet again, making them shoot from the outside like we saw in that first quarter. Uh, Picton, Bunyan, Barry, Deaton, and Jansen for the Bobcats. Whiting, Wollston, Gustin, Bubakar, and Davenport for BYU. Bubakar with it, hands it off to Davenport, looking to shoot with 47 seconds. Over the corner, wide open, three is good. Wollston gets it to fall. Just like that, it's a four-point game. Bunyan up top to Picton. Jansen looking for somebody now with 25 seconds to go. Jansen drives to the free throw line. Picton drives the lane, tried to get it over to Jansen. Long three-pointer, good, drills it. Puts him back up by seven. Eight seconds to go. Behind the back by Whiting, five seconds, brings it up past half court. Drives, cut off, down low, and they're gonna get a foul. It is an offensive foul on Gustin, and that's her third. BYU just shooting 50% from the free throw line. We'll go over stats here as it's knocked away, and that is the end of the first half. Some late instructions from their head coach. Coaching high school just two years ago. Yeah, she's relatively new into the college coaching world. She Cats graduated will, from BYU, though. Cats will start with the ball. Dykstra, a little left-hand floater, won't fall. Just short, picked up by BYU. Whiting. Smiler inside, and it's knocked out of there as she tried to get it in to Gustin, again, just trying to feed it inside. Nothing going for BYU. Deaton spins to her left, little kiss off the glasses in. Her hallmark stats. She's got five this afternoon so far. Davenport launches a step back three and it's good. Just like that, back to a seven point game. Lamardo gets cut off. Nice defense there by Smiler. Hall launches her own three, no good. Picked up by Whiting. Quickly down the court. 
is the freshman. Gets it down low. That's the play we were looking for if you're a BYU fan. Nice little pass to Gustin. She gets it off the glass and in. Back to a four-point lead. Closest they've been since halfway through the second quarter. Long three-pointer by Lamardo, No good. I like that pace, though. Hop and pop. Mm -hmm. Those are going to start falling. If you second-guess yourself, you're in trouble. And they're going to call an and one here. As they said, she was fouled on the drive. There was two more people contacted her after that, but they gave her the bucket. Whiting for the and one. In and out, no good. Picked up. To Picton over the corner. Chance in corner three. Too strong. Rebounded by Davenport. She'll push the pace with just under six minutes to go here in the third quarter. Nice drive inside off the glass and good there. 9-0 run in the last three minutes by BYU. Bobcats haven't scored in almost four. And that Bunyan. Great offensive set. Ends the three-minute drown. It's stolen away. The freshman, one-on-one, -on -one. Davenport flips it with her left hand, no good. Bunyan picks it up down low. Nice hustle there by Egan. She'll take the long three and banks it home. This afternoon, 39-34, Bobcats with the lead. For five straight points going into that last media timeout. Quick three-pointer from the corners, good. Bunyan. Now Dykstra looking for somebody to hand it off to. Nice play. Bunny little floaters up and good. It's a virtue on that one. They really took their time, made sure that they set it up right. Nice move by the freshman from Wales. Long three-pointer rattles home for B. Egan now trying to get Dykstra down low. Just under three minutes to go here in the third. One-point lead as Bunyan drives down the lane. Foul, her second. Third team foul for the Bobcats. Wide open three, rattles in. Third three-pointer, second in a row, and it's stolen away. Whiting off the glass, strong, and she's fouled by Egan. Taking more chances from that perimeter really has helped their momentum. Of course, that has really helped them keep pace with the Bobcats. Lead for the first time since the beginning of the first quarter. See if Cats can answer. Bunyan, free throw jumpers, good. 15 points from the Welsh freshman. Whiting quickly down at a 45 all game. Dustin going against Deedon, kind of throws the... Third quarter action here from the Brick. Nice pass from Deaton to Hall. Gets it outside. Egan thinks about the three. Drives inside. Little floating bunny will go. Smiler thinks about a three. Alpha trying to drive inside. Kicks it out. Long three-pointer here by Wolston. No good. Rebounded by Deaton. Minute to go. They can get a two for one. And Whiting steals it away. Egan can't pick up that foul. And Whiting able to lay it in. Back to a two-point lead for BYU. Pressure here by Whiting. Good defense by BYU. Yeah, I kind of got deja vu there for a second. That turnover. Freshman v. Freshman. Bunyan looking to drive it in. Outside to Hall. Hall up and over, and she's fouled. It'll go to the line to shoot two. Hall's first one in and out. No good. Hall got a ton of playing time last year. Had played in 30 games, had 17 starts, averaged 17.5 minutes. She also ad averaged five points and two rebounds per game. Hall misses them both, but the Bobcats come up with the offensive rebound after it plinkoed around, and they'll set it up with 20 seconds to go on the shot clock, 21 to go on the game clock. Egan Hall from the corner. Three is good! Two for three from deep for Hall, and it's 50-49, eight seconds to go here in the third quarter. Last chance here for Wolston. 
and BYU and it's stolen away over to Dykstra running free is no good but we'll go into the fourth quarter of the Bobcats with a 50-49 lead hit their last five shots four of five for BYU so the offense really picking up eight of Bunyan's 13 points or 15 points excuse me came in that third quarter she really stepped it up from the freshman from Wales yeah she has an impressive resume, and we were just saying she kind of plays like a veteran on the court. Spin move by Hall up and good for two. She played on the Wales national team since 2016 at both the U16 and U18 levels. So certainly calm, cool, and collected inside the Worthington Arena. Even with 4,000 screaming toddlers. Whiting with the floater. And it's 52-51. Quickly down low to Deaton. I think she thought there'd be more contact when she fell. She hurried her shot, and it's no good. Straight away three is off the mark for BYU. And Bubakar, but now down low, there's their star, Gustin, in for two. Just her eighth points of the night. Very uncharacteristic but gives them a one-point lead, which, according to last year's game, is also uncharacteristic. Hall almost gets it stripped away. Now to Lamardo with five to shoot. Goes inside, nice move. Can't get it to fall. The BYU will slow it up with just over eight minutes to go in the game. Whiting now trying to get around Picton, the freshman. Kicks it over the corner. The three is up and too strong. But there for the far rebound is Gustin, and they'll set it back up. Three was missed by Wolston. Now Gustin down low, and they're going to get Dykstra. She dropped that hand. First one up and no good. And Whiting and Davenport all with double-figure points for BYU. A nice little give-and-go, but good defense from behind. Three-minute trout again by Montana State here. As inside in the hoop, the harm and on the line for the and one. In and out, no good. Bunyan to Hall. Drives inside. And it's hammered out of there. Cats wanted a foul, but good defense by Calvert. Quickly down the court is Smiler. Stops, pops, and gets it to fall off the glass. Yeah, a lot of new players kind of getting orientated with the, the new plays. The Bunyan new, misses the open three. The new systems, new coaches. It's just a whole new world, and especially, like, basketball, college basketball is so much different than high school basketball, so that's just a whole new learning curve as well. A whole new world, like one of your favorite Disney songs. <laughs> yes. Diana, a huge Disney song fan, we found out today. You can tell by the, sarc the enthusiasm in my voice. <laughs> Davenport hops and pops for two. Over to Lamarno. Drives to the free throw line behind her back. To Jansen, free throw jumper. Left-hander won't fall, but it's piled up and grabbed down low. That'll be Cougar ball, but good, good hustle there by Deaton and company. Starting to see a little bit of wear and tear out there, so I think that plays a lot into this point deficit that we're seeing. Whiting. Pass the freshman picked in, and they're going to get her with the reach in foul. Length and also the durability towards the end is the first one. Run here at the end, you still have a chance to win it. Second one's up and good. Well, and who knows how long they'll be in the Big 12. The way everything moves nowadays, exactly. it might be next week they're going to be in the Pac-12. I also think that that's kind of allows them to be a dark horse. You can never count out a Binford coach team. Absolutely Because the first one won't fall. Second one is up. And Whiting over to Davenport. Cut off. Now back to Whiting pass. The time strike. See if BYU tries to burn some clock here. And we're going to have a reach in. First one up and good. Second one up and good as well. Now she's 
real game, non-exhibition game. Picton tries to go to her right. Trying to go give and go. They finally get it down low to Dykstra. There's the give and the go. And it's to Deaton. And she... First one's too strong. Really held them to their scoring, the Bobcats to their scoring. 7-23 without. Almost the entire fourth quarter and it's stolen away. Let's see if Hall can get one here. A little quick jumper's good. In the back of their minds weighing it down. Eight minutes inbound, just under two minutes now. Defensive pressure and it's stolen away. Picked up by the Bobcats. There's that pressure we were talking about. Never mind what these announcers say. <laughs> Lamardo, turn around. Now drives in, little scoop shot won't go. Rebounded by Egan and she brings it out, sets it back up, Hall. Inside to Dystra. Turns around, left hander won't go. A lot of contact, no call. And Whiting with a minute 28 to go, picks it back up and Dystra with the foul. First one goes. Second one is up, and that one scoring advantage just in the fourth quarter by the Cats. That's something they can easily fix and come back from as they see more and more action at home and away as we have a foul called away. Deaton at the line. First one's up and good. Taking a look at the schedule. Packed house on Kids Day. Uh, most of the screaming we heard was from about five to six rows behind us. But it was from all over the place. There's over 4,000 elementary school kids. So you can hear them now with five to shoot. We have a foul. First one up and... Once again, thank you to Montana PBS, Audrey Scheid and her crew for broadcasting these games on ESPN Plus. One of the best in the biz is this crew. Dykstra spins away with five seconds to go. Up off the glass, hoop, the harm. And that was a key part of the team last year. That, that was, you know, kind of their stamp, if you will, and it's nice to see it this year as well. Rebound, and that will do her. BYU avenges the loss to Montana State down in Utah last year with a 68 to 60, almost the exact same score as last year as the Bobcats fall on their first home victory.